Hey guys, in this video we are working with a NAE55 that uh, clearly has a problem. We are currently running at 99.2% on the CPU usage. This device is toggling on and offline rather frequently. There is clearly a problem in the database itself. Uh, it could be something that is, uh, you know, corrupted within the database that is causing this device to use so much of the CPU. And at that high of a level, it will not stay online. It will not communicate the way that it should. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is to get access inside the database. But the challenge is how do we do that when the device keeps toggling, toggling on and offline? What we're going to try to do is to pull the trunks, both of the field trunks, off of this device to see if that settles it down any. Here is the device now. You can see that we have a fault on it. I'm just going to unplug these for now. And I want to get that CPU usage down as much as possible. That way I can go in and start going through the database to try to locate the cause of the problem. As of right now, I have no way of being able to do that just because there is so much CPU usage. Now, I have both of those trunks unplugged. Hopefully, with that stopping the data flow into the NAE, it will lower that CPU usage. Currently, we are still at 99.2. We're going to give that a few minutes, and we are going to see if it actually settles down some. Okay, another step that we took on this device was to reboot the, reboot the uh, unit by cycling power on it. And by leaving the field trunks unhooked, we now have the CPU usage down to 3.7%. There is clearly a problem within the database. And what we're going to do now is to go through the database. The first thing that we're going to look at is trends on the various controllers. It is very possible that a trend has been corrupted or that uh, when a trend was set up, that it was uh, you know a wrong value entered where it is trending just too much information trends can be a big culprit and using a lot of the CPU resources on an NAE if you have an NAE that is running a very high CPU usage you may want to consider how you're using trends and other devices uh, and other you know logic blocks within your controller it's a good idea to monitor your CPU usage on these devices very regularly when you notice them starting to get high you may want to begin looking at the uh, last few things that you have done to your database and if uh, you know deleting those out seems to lower it back to a reasonable level uh, your culprit has been identified what we're going to do here is we're going to go through our database we're going to clean it up a little bit and we're going to see if we can get the cpu usage down all right, guys, we have gone through the database and we have deleted a bunch of uh, excessive trends out. Uh, this is something that uh, there were some points that we no longer needed within the database. So we've gone through and done some cleanup on it. As of right now, I've got both of the field trunks hooked back up to the device. We are back online with all of our devices now. Looking at our CPU usage, you can see that it has dropped dramatically. Earlier we were at 99%, now we're down to about 4%. So cleaning up the database has significantly helped the way that the device is running. Uh, it is now staying online, it seems to be much better than it was, and that is one of the uh, ideas if you are trying to troubleshoot a nay that is just absolutely refuses to stay online just remember to unhook your field trunk uh, both of those you may need to cycle power on it and then start going through your database cleaning up what uh, you do not need cleaning up any trends that are excessive if uh, if you always want to go back to the last thing which was done in your database that could be where your problem started 
and anyways guys i hope this video helps you in troubleshooting an nae and if it does give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments and questions down below thanks for watching